I saw Billy Conley, you know, in a, his first HBO special. And once again, you're talking about epiphanies on earlier. On TV or were you in the stadium? No, on TV. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I couldn't yeah. afford to, you know, to see him. And uh, I remember watching him and, and seeing this tartan wizard sing the songs of his tribe, you know. Yeah. And he flew across the stage and... I was just uh, uh, mesmerized. He didn't, and has never changed his act for the audience. He just did, he was talking about, I remember that special, he was talking about stuff that most people didn't even get at the time. But he seemed to keep on talking about well, it. Well, you know, that's a level of courage and bravery that, uh, you know, I think that, you, you know, he's absolutely uncompromising. And uh, I think that, um, uh, you know, you grow into that. And uh, but I think he came out fully formed, you know, <laughs> but it was interesting. I had an opportunity to thank him at Just for Laughs several years ago. Wow. And I said, look, I just want to tell you, brother, that uh, you're the reason I'm here. Oh, isn't that nice? It's nice. Yes, it's nice. And I said, what's the what's the trick? He goes, sing your song. Just sing your song. And that's it, you know, and um, you have to take the joy of the work. I mean, it's not where comedy is going to get you but where it's put you it's where you are so you know and people say to me sometimes when are you taking your act to the states they say well look man you know uh, i'm so canadian canadians don't know what the hell i'm talking about sometimes <laughs> but you know two thousand people laughing in edmonton in a snowstorm sounds exactly the same as two thousand people laughing in los angeles when it's warm right. so when you're in the moment and when you're in the pocket and those folks in the country who who paid 55 bucks to see you and made the effort you know to leave the house and get a sitter you know they deserve to have their load lightened for those two hours <laughs>